When I was 12 years old, in one of my classes at school, we were tasked with creating a presentation about a dream business we might want in the future. Safe to say, me and my friend went a bit off the rails. So here is that presentation. <coughs> Thank you so much for coming today everyone, and I promise you, you won't be disappointed because it's with great pleasure that I have the opportunity today to present to you a brand new business. So I can see the excitement in the crowd, so I'll get straight to it. What is it called? It's Paradise Zoo. The number one animal seller. <laughs> You heard me correct, number one in the world for selling animals. And I can feel it in the audience, you've had a little bit of pushback when I've said that. Uh, but don't worry because I'll clear everything up. How about we get into our mission statements? Number one, to provide you with any exotic animal you need or desire. And guys, it isn't the black market. You might be thinking that sounds a little bit dodgy, but I promise you all of our animals are legally sourced from the wild. We take them from the wild and we put them in our zoo. <laughs> Mission statement number two to treat every customer like royalty. That's right guys, when you come to Paradise Zoo, we want you to leave feeling like a queen. At Paradise Zoo, we want you to feel like a king. N not the king of the jungle necessarily, that's the lion, we're selling him just over here. And mission statement number three, to provide the community with a really easy way of buying amazing animals. It's gonna be so easy to buy all of the animals you've ever wanted to buy. Have you ever been walking down the street thinking, oh, I really wish I could buy that polar bear but there's just no way well now it's going to be easy as easy as going up to a, a random dodgy looking guy in a back alley you can thank us later but now that we've got the missions out of the way how about we move on to our aims which honestly is probably the same thing aim number one is to have more than one shop that's right guys we're dreaming really big here aim number two to have over 25 workers. Wow, that's like more than 24 workers. Aim number three is to have over 100 species of animals. And I know what you're thinking, that's a little bit unspecific. There's a lot of gray area there. Hey Jude, what if it's just 100 different species of frog? Well then you better buy some frogs. But no, don't worry at all because all of these 100 species of animals will be not only amazing, but easy to get. Just think about it, you too could have a hundred species of animals. <laughs> okay, we've been over our missions, we've been over our aims. Now let's go over our objectives, which, which is again is the same thing. Objective number one, to sell 200 animals by Christmas of 2013. <laughs> now guys, we may have missed the boat a little bit on this one and for that we have to deeply apologize. Personally, I still feel like we could reach this goal. Hey, you you guys want an animal? We're trying We're trying to sell out by Christmas of 2013. You may be thinking taking 200 animals out of the wild and selling them might have a couple of adverse effects on kind of the ecosystem, but no, no it won't. You can literally trust me, well, I'm wearing a suit. Objective number two, to let people have birthday parties at our zoo by July 2013. Now this one is really important to us guys. If you can't have a birthday at Paradise Zoo, then can we really call it a paradise? Picture it. You're cold and alone on your birthday. And then all of a sudden, the warm open arms of Paradise Zoo come in and we say, here, have a look at this baboon that we took from its natural habitat and put in a cage. Would you like to buy this baboon? You could buy this baboon. And objective number three, which is of course the most important, to hire a balloon man to sell balloons to passers-by by June 2013. What is a birthday party without a balloon? At Paradise Zoo, the balloon men are really the pinnacles of the entire working facility. So we've been through our missions, our aims, our objectives, synonyms, and now you might be thinking, Hang on, this sounds great. I, I kind of want to work here. Well, that's great news because we've got jobs available. Let's run through them now. Um, so if you're trained in zoology, if you want to be a zookeeper, we will request that you work six days a week uh, for £100 a week, of course, which is under £20 a day. But to be completely honest, being a zookeeper is kind of easy. All you have to do is like throw a bit of meat into each cage. And if you think about it, £100 is like quite a lot of money, so you could probably live off that. If you're struggling to live on £100 a week, that's your problem. That's a budgeting problem. You should, you should be more careful with your money. If you want to sign up for the prestigious role of Balloon Man, 
Uh, that will be 12 hours a week, a little bit less than six days. You know, we'll take the edge off for you there because we really love the balloon men here. Unfortunately, because you're only doing a 12 hour shift, we will only pay you 20 pounds for that 12 hour shift once a week. Now this will mean that if you're visiting the zoo, uh, it will be a lottery as to which day the balloon man is actually there, but that kind of heightens the appeal because it's kind of rare. We will of course need a receptionist, three receptionists apparently, but we only really need you working two out of the six days because uh, we'll just sort of pile up all our complaints for, for those two days. And over those two days, you will be getting 40 pounds. So that is rather similar to the balloon man's salary. Again, receptionist is not a very high skill job. All you have to do is kind of like write down people's names or something. I don't know. We'll figure out the ins and outs of that later. And of course the phone operator. Now this is six hours a day. It doesn't specify how many days a week. So I'm just going to assume it's every single day for six hours a day. You need to be on the phone, but don't worry. You will be getting paid 60 pounds, which of course is less than 10 pounds a day. But all you're going to be doing is holding a phone and, and just operating it. It's not hard to operate a phone. We've, we've all got a, a phone. Look, I'm literally doing it. Oh, look at me. I'm a phone operator. 60 pounds a week for this. That's easy. So hopefully loads of people sign up. Now let's move on to the most important thing, the animals, the big selling point of the whole Paradise Zoo uh, business model. So here's just a couple of examples of some of the 100 species that you will be able to buy. Oh, it seems I've got a, a little video clip here to, to play. Um, let's just see if this helps. Oh, oh, that's so cute. You could buy this. We'll take it from its parents and you could buy this. Just ignore the zoo.org watermark in the bottom. This was made by us. Okay, to the prices. Lions, uh, like you just saw in that clip there, £190 per lion. I know it's a bit steep, um, but just think, if you're a balloon man, it's only going to take like 12 weeks to afford that. 10 weeks working as a balloon man and you can have a lion. Hippos, of course, a bit bigger. They are harder to transport, so they will be £300 each. Pandas are the real money maker here at Paradise Zoo. They'll be a thousand pounds because they're quite rare and they don't like have sex much and they don't have many children. Antelopes, they're super cheap. They're only 150 pounds each. You don't want an ant. Don't buy an antelope. Sharks, on the other hand, 500 pounds. Koalas, of course, only 150 pounds each. We've had to bump the price down because they've all got chlamydia. Flamingos, 150. They only stand on one leg. Why would you want a bird with one leg? Crocodiles will be 450 pounds. Not quite as much as sharks because crocodiles can actually walk on land, whereas sharks can actually not. And polar bears, of course, 200 pounds each. We threw in a little bit of a discount on the polar bears. We didn't really care about the polar bears. They're all gonna be in the sea soon anyway because all the ice is melting. So we might as well sell them on, on the cheap. Now I know you might be worried about the environmental impact of this, but don't worry because for every animal we sell, we release one to the wild, guys. <laughs> Now I know I did say earlier in the presentation that we do get them from the wild, but that's okay because every two we take from the wild, we put one back. <laughs> Just think, for every hippo you buy, you're releasing one to the wild. Isn't that just so wholesome? All this charity's making me thirsty. Ah, sorry, I forgot to specify, this was just for zoos. Uh, but if you're a member of the public and you want an animal, these are our animals for the public. I'm not really sure why we've put a video of piranhas feeding in here. Let's have a look at something cuter. We'll look at some penguins. The video does seem to be unavailable. We are having a bit of technical issues here, so we are gonna have to move on. A macaw will be 50 pounds. A budgie will also be 50 pounds. If you wanna buy a terrapin, a snapping turtle, then 70 pounds. Tortoises obviously are a little bit bigger, so 80 pounds. A penguin will be 150 pounds. A flying squirrel, of course, 90. Flying fish, 90. Piranhas are only 50 pounds because uh, generally people seem to buy them by the tank load so that they can like dispose of bodies and stuff. Chameleons are a little bit steep, 120 pounds, just because they're quite difficult to find. Bearded dragons, 90 pounds. And of course, this is the most important message. All owners must have a suitable habitat for their pet of choice. So if you did want to buy the penguin, then you will have to have the Antarctic in your back garden. I'm really sorry, it's just a little stipulation we have to make this more ethical. Okay, now let's tackle the thing that you're probably all thinking about. How can I have one of those fantastic birthday parties for myself? Well, here's the parties and bookings page. At Paradise Zoo, there are party bookings available. We do recommend you're between the ages of 7 and 12 if you want to come to this zoo any older and they do seem to start calling the RSPCA. Let's have a look at our mascots that you might see around Paradise Zoo. Uh, what the hell? A stock image of a flamingo, a, a Percy the penguin. 
like there's like a triangle in the corner there. I think that's an elephant. So that's all for today. I really hope you invest in this beautiful business and we here at Paradise Zoo hope you will invest with us in the future. If you see any animals out in the wild, maybe just take them in a bag and give them to us. We can always use more animals and of course more food for our restaurant menu. It's been wonderful speaking to you all. And as we say here at Paradise Zoo, it's not, it's not illegal.